Kodak Black is currently sitting in prison after being handed a four-year sentence, but new leaked info will have Kodak Black spending the rest of his life in prison, which will officially end his career. You will not want to miss what we have to show you in today's video, so stay tuned. Also, if you are a Kodak Black fan, leave a like on this video, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a new pair of AirPods, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end, find and comment the hidden message and you will be entered. Kodak Black, the creator of the song Tunnel Vision, was a name which grew in popularity very quickly and secured a lot of fans in a short amount of time. He's only 22 years old and already accomplished so much success in the industry. He's worked with top name artists and has had multiple songs reach the top of the Billboard charts, including a featured song ZZ with Travis Scott and Offset, which peaked at number two. Although he has recently lost some fans and respect from a lot of people for certain things he's done, there's no denying he is a talented artist. If you were curious as to why he lost respect, one main reason was due to him making comments about Nipsey Hussle's wife during an Instagram live video not even a couple days after he passed. Super disrespectful and that lost him a lot of respect, not only from his fans, but also other rappers in the industry. They did make some comments about it and overall it was just a bad situation and a very bad look from Kodak. But that is a topic for a different video. Kodak's career has been on a downward spiral lately and with new updates revealed, it could officially be ending after what he recently got himself involved in. So keep watching, you won't wanna miss what we have to show you. Kodak has been in and out of jail for most of his life. He has a long past of criminal history, starting at a very young age, and he's always seemed to get a second chance. He has seemed to get lucky a lot of times, but that has finally been taken away. Going down his criminal timeline, his legal troubles began in 2015 when he was arrested for robbery, assault, kidnapping, driving with a suspended license, and possession of weed. This left him locked up for months and it also put a pause on his career, which at that time just started to take off. But in my opinion, he is very lucky because just on those charges alone, he could have been facing a lot of time in prison. A lot of other people have probably been sentenced to a lot longer than he did for the exact same charges, and he only served a couple of months. He then was later released on a bond, and not even three months later, he was pulled over and charged again for possession of marijuana. In 2016, he was arrested and charged with possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana, and multiple traffic violations. He tried to drive off from police during this after they tried to pull him over and arrest him, and during that he tossed a Glock in a dumpster, which was caught by police, and he was behind bars for six months from that crime. Same year in 2016, he was arrested for open warrants involving his 2015 arrest. After serving months in prison, he was sentenced to one year of house arrest and five years probation, but his release was stopped from two warrants. One of the warrants was for criminal sexual misconduct, which could have landed him 30 years. But dodging a long-term sentence, he was released after posting a $100,000 bond. This was when Kodak Black had everyone believing he was going to stay out of trouble and change his ways. He made it seem like he was officially done getting in trouble constantly and he was going to basically make a new life and change his ways and not be always in and out of jail. But that did not last long after he was arrested in 2017 for violating house arrest. This had him sentenced to 364 days in prison, which he ended up only serving 97 days before being released again. Even after being in trouble and he still has not changed anything, he was arrested in 2018 for weapon possession and neglect of a child. This is where I say Kodak is lucky because he got extremely lucky with this case also because three of his charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. Like I said, in my opinion, he is constantly getting lucky and dodging bullets. But still, either way, with those three charges being dropped, he was still facing four charges and he was held without bail and he was only sentenced to one year and only served seven months. He was facing 12 years for that and only served seven months. Kodak overall, like I said, is extremely lucky. He's been stacking up a criminal record, he constantly gets himself in trouble, and you would think that he would try and stay low key as possible and under the radar, but that's not the case after he was arrested in Miami and charged with two counts of making a false statement while trying to purchase a firearm. This was his most recent sentencing. He got three years and 10 months, so basically four years 
which he could have easily got in 10 years since he has such a big record. And during this time, it was rumored that he was involved in a fight with a prison guard. That would have definitely taken away his freedom for life. But so far, nothing has been released to prove that actually happened. Kodak is basically saying that they set him up and are making lies. But so far, no actual proof has been revealed that he did fight a prison guard. Kodak took the four-year sentence as a win, considering it could have been a lot worse. But that was crushed when just two days after his sentencing, he was hit with two new gun charges and now he faces up to 30 years on each count. With Kodak's criminal past and long criminal record, I don't think there's much hope for him anymore. And although he has very good lawyers, it looks like these added charges could officially be the end of Kodak. It's unlikely he will beat these, especially both of them. He's been lucky so far considering his crimes compared to the time served but this is going to be the one that finally ends his luck in my opinion. The verdict in these charges is still yet to be revealed. We will have to wait and see for that, but he is facing 60 years combined, 30 years off of each new charge. We will keep you updated. I want to know what you think about this situation. Is Kodak going to get lucky again and be out after his four year sentence? Or are one of these charges going to stick, which will keep him locked up for life and no doubt ending his career? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Also, if you are a Kodak Black fan, leave a like on this video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.